is if there was a guy who was like so aggressively centrist that everybody hated him, you know? Like, you know, the ha- like instead of being like hashtag arrest the cops who killed Breonna Taylor, he's like on Twitter, like hashtag demote the cops who killed Breonna Taylor. Like they're murderers, but come on guys, like everyone deserves a second chance, you know? And people just hate him and just talk shit about like people are making death threats against him. He's, a kid, he's the guy who's like, we're so divided. Like, let's find some common ground. Let's find something we can all agree on. And it's like, there's nothing there's nothing to agree on. You either want... It's like the, the only types of people now is like you either want a race war or you want like the next Supreme Court justice to be a uh, Wiccan, you know? So where does that leave us? Well, maybe ironically, I think he would bring everyone together on hating his mild that's opinion that, that's what people thought trump was going to be the first time. like at first people were like oh we're all going to unite with how much we hate him wrong no nope. <laughs> wrong well that he didn't work he what's funny is like he ran in 2012 people yeah, forget that people did yeah people forget that he ran and it was, was a joke back then. Yeah, because he's. This is all the long. This is the thing. This is all the long con. He's just gonna. Oh, welcome to the show. The Subscribe TV. to the podcast. I feel like we've begun and we he's always forget. A, dude, what if you? We need to abruptly stop and say subscribe to the podcast. Thanks for being here, because we've began the show. Thank you. Trump. What if Trump's network is just like hunting shows? Like, what if he leans into hunting instead of politics? Like, the whole... Everyone's just like, okay, he's just going to start... If he loses, he's just going to start, like, his own news network, InfoWars style, Fox News style, and then it'll just be a brand with, like, him and his kids and shit like that. But what if his network was, like... What if he just started, like, hunting shows? What if he just, like, brought back TV shows that everyone liked? And everyone like was, game like... show network? Yeah, like, he brought back, like, maybe... What's a good, what's a show that collectively, what if he just did, you know what, screw, screw the network. What if he just, what if he just started doing good oh things God. for the world? He, after he's, you know what I mean? What if he, we were just like, damn. And then Biden fucks it up. And then Trump all of a sudden like starts doing like low key starts like doing good humanitarian work. And everyone's like, what the yeah, f- like what how, happened? Like, like how George Bush paints now. Like yeah. he's a painter and people forget about all like the war crimes, you know? No, but he's actually doing good things and like turning the world around. Meanwhile, let's say, well, meanwhile, would never, no one would ever, nothing he ever does. Listen, I'm not saying he's <clears throat> going to do anything good, but nothing he ever does for the rest of his life will please anyone but his fans. Everyone who hates him hates him forever. Like it's pretty, well, he can't really do anything to become like redeemable. No, unless we're, he we're go, fickle. Unless he's like, we're unless fickle, he says, dude. We, people, people unless have he goes no, like the Caitlyn Jenner route and then just goes trans. If he transitions, then maybe there's a shot, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I think if you, yeah, if he went trans, that would be awesome because it, it would might be, like be the most Trump thing ever if he started to transition but never finished it. Like he just stayed kind of in the middle. <laughs> he was just basically cross dressing until he died. Yeah, that would I be kind of cool. I would. Uh, I'd be back on the train, maybe. That would be. Uh, it's what I. You know what I. Some for some reason got on this weird. You know when you're vacuuming your apartment, your mind just kind of wanders into these weird hypotheticals. Yeah, you never have a darker thought than when you're vacuuming. Or I don't. I mean, mine aren't necessarily dark, but I, here's where I found myself today. Yeah. All right, I found myself thinking. I don't know where I got on. I was basically like thinking about trans people and if like different people in my life told me that they were like, you know, I think I want to become a trans woman. Uh, Even you, if they were like seeing it, you're trying to like go through the library of your mind and see if there were any encounters that you overlooked like through your childhood. No, not even necessarily. But if someone, the like, friends that came up to me, like, you know, I never felt this way, but like all of a sudden they're like, I think uh, like my, you know, a buddy or something's like, I think I want to become a woman. Like, I think that's the move. Like, I, it's not that I've necessarily felt that my whole life, but I think that's the next step for me, you know? So I don't get it though. You're trying to, you were just trying to go back and see if you could remember that. Happening. No, what I'm saying is hypothetically, I put myself in this situation. Oh. If my father were to tell me he wanted to become trans. Yeah. Like, and, you, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I put myself in that scenario and I'm like, it's funny because I think he would, let's say he had this deep down, no one knew, but in reality he has this because he's like pretty conservative. And if you probably asked him about trans people, he 
you know, Probably I don't know what he would say, hear. but he wouldn't. He would definitely That's for why sure. No one's asking. He would definitely <laughs> for sure not say I want to be he trans. Would, for sure, his, Mr. Bertoff in the middle of Indiana is for sure not going to be like. Listen, we got to respect everyone's individual journey. And he might. To you think I listen? He's gotten progressively woke. I, I don't know your dad. I was just. I'm just going by the numbers. White Here's, dude, older, in the middle of Indiana. I can't imagine him him being. Him being you know, no, I'm going to go. I, I'm going to go good on my dad because here's That's something good. Here's something that kind of surprised me. So I was telling him one time I had a friend that was having uh, had had previously, like within the last week, had had an abortion. All right. Fine. So I brought this up to my Why dad. Why did you bring that up? My dad's my friend. That's cool. Yeah. That's true. I get it. So we're talking. My dad's like my dad has like like pro-life awards. He's like he's won awards for being pro life, right? How can you be so aggressively pro life that you win an award, dude? He's out there with the he's out there with the signs, man. Oh, he's he? out there, dude. Is he really? Yeah, but here's the thing. So he got like a certification, like a certificate of recognition mm-hmm. for being there. Yeah, I was there. I, w- I was at a bomb. banquet where it was presented. Damn, dude. Yeah, I mean, no, he wasn't doing like he wasn't doing terrorist. <laughs> what if activity? your dad was just like firebombing Planned Parenthood clinics, <laughs> and you had no idea? Like, just one day you're on fucking CNN and you see like a big picture on the front, but you're like, oh, fuck, dad. <sighs> well, I know he wouldn't. Here's he would why. Never got a trial, bro. You're fine. I don't know. He w- I mean, he's here's here's the thing. You think all these pro lifers are super radical. So I'm telling him in conversation, I tell him about my friend who just had an abortion. And you know what his response was? What's that? This is good. This is like not comedy, but this <laughs> this is he says he's like he gets bummed out and he feels he's like, I'm so amazing. Like, I'm so sorry for your friend. That's just such a hard thing to have to go through. And I'm yeah, your dad's a good guy. It seems he like. is. And I was like, and it was interesting because it's like people think that these people My dad have all would these be like, how much was it? And that's kind of where it would end. Is that the direction he go? Yeah. He'd be like, how much was it? He's, what he's curious. Running what about? are they running nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> what if my dad, what if my parents had a kid at like 59 and then aborted it? How fucking I like I'm pro choice, but that would be a crime against any kind of God. I mean, that's like, always people weird. in their sixties are aborting kids that are basically miracles already. Like <laughs> I know, I know. No, I feel this way about people that are people like married couples, like married couples having an abortion. I'm like it's different. Yeah, it, do, it different. does hit different. It's like they just want to restart, basically. It's a, it's for sure, dude. I want to you know. Had you, the know op, you had the. You had. I thought about this before. When is the first abortion going to be from a test tube baby? Like a like what, you just the, changed your mind what's or the phrase, what? What's the wor- the petri dish? No, <laughs> these are both offensive. Artificially to people inseminated. Artificially in artificial insemination, but there is a there's a word for it. That time that type of pregnancy. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But the point being is like the first person who has an artificial insemination baby and then aborts it. That's how that's when we'll really be pushing the limits of freedom, dude. That's how you'll know we're free. If you like there's constant riots and people are fighting and everything. If people are getting abortions after having I think it's science nets, assisted babies. Th- we're free it, as fuck, dude. Chill out, you know? I think ethically though, it kind of like nets neutral because I think people it that are pro cancel, life they're Jesus prob- approves of it. He's right. like, you kill that you need to kill this fucking baby, yeah. dude. It's kind of like it's a, not even a baby. It's kinda of like when there's a like a bad foul like a foul, like a miscall, and then the guy misses the free throw. Yeah. It's like, it's like all offensive right. and pass. You guys have a defensive pass interference. You weren't supposed to. You weren't supposed to do that anyway. Run it back. Try again. Yeah, yeah. So I think. I think. But you're right. It is kind of. What is that situation where you're like, you think you want to have a baby, and then you artificially inseminate Dude. your wife, and then you decide. Li- it's a, what a couple like a month later, you're like, actually, here's something crazy. What? Do you think people? Do you think there have ever been any people who like could have a baby but chose to have like a artificially made one? Like with someone else's sperm, just because like that. This is what if there's like the, oh, dude, I'm who's sure. the biggest cock in America? Is this basically this question? Who's the guy? Who, there has to be a couple out there who had the wife impregnated by like. Like, can you imagine if a husband and wife were married and could have a kid, but chose not? I'm not talking about like some kinky sexual shit where it's like some bull comes in and like bangs your what? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying, do you think there's a couple who are married and can have kids, but instead? 
choose to go to like a physician's office get better sperm and get a better like they're just like listen i you know he's we, he's lactose intolerant uh, he's lactose intolerant he's, he's five afraid, four he, he's afraid of roller coasters i mean i can't let this pussy at that know, point you might as well like get it. officially inseminated you, that point you get officially divorced yeah but and then whatever bull whatever like bull sperm you want you just get came yeah. into you and leave your cock <laughs> yeah husband. so uh billy it, Ah, uh, now you're 12 years old. It's time to tell you your dad is actually uh, Bill Russell, <laughs> former Celtics. I know it's crazy, but it's listen. You know he had great sperm, and your mom found him at the bank, and he was 86 years old. But we decided to see what, <laughs> and that's why the most you, rebounds of any player in the league ever. So I don't, and that's why you Bill have Bill Russell's uh, a top three all time. Three extra chromosomes. Because we took an 80-year-old man's well, he's sperm. Got three extra feet on his fucking lame-ass parents. <laughs> That's what's weird. This kid's balling out. What's crazy is, like, if you get extra chromosomes, it, like, fucks you up. Yeah, I don't know how that works. You it's weird. It help. Yeah, you think you'd get you a bonus more chrome. of anything would help, like, when yeah. it comes to... I don't know what... I don't... For being Maybe. honest, I don't know what a chromosome is. So, Dude. I... I how many and people also if you're listening to this and you think that you do shut up because you don't that's that's my question how many people do you think actually on the, how many like what percentage of the population let's go with in America yeah no could like articulate what a chromosome is to like a how many people do you think could like real who how many things you really Dude, understand literally less than one percent oh for Half sure this country doesn't even know what all the states are you know what I mean like how the fuck can they ever know what the base level of our human biodome is like dude Californians don't here's the thing it's not even just California nobody knows that shit I do quiz me quiz me a state you know capital. what a chromosome no we're not to, I wasn't talking about that I'm talking about chromosomes pop quiz dude no dude we're not gonna do this nobody knows what we a can chromosome go tit for tat on fucking kick it off I'll go tit for tat with you let's go all right this is a, this is a game this is yeah, a fun game see who can go this as is, far as I can you got it okay but it's like but you're saying neither of us can check this so we're just gonna have to go on our cut and people listen sure to this sure maybe here's what it is all 30 people browsing 4chan right we're now, trying gonna, whoever whoever fucks up yeah loses so we're trying to stump each other so I'm gonna give you a state you give me a state I'll lose the first one god damn here we go. okay you yeah. challenged me okay where's your um, confidence you North, go first North Dakota <laughs> Bismarck. There you go. Am I right? I think so. Okay. South Dakota. I have no fucking idea. I win. Yeah, I dude, win. I don't know. I don't I know, know what, what a chromosome it's, is, it's, but it's, it's the, Pierre. It's the um, Pierre South Dakota. Oh, it's really? Yeah, they went with the French name. See, for I, the for, the, for the, the square state that literally only has. A formation of four rapist slave traders as the main attraction for your state. Sorry, I forgot what the capital was. There, you hit me with another one though. Come on, we right. started with the bullshit. Like, come on, dude. I mean, you lost. I know I'll I play, lost. I'll go listen, around is, too. Listen, on you. I know I lost. Too. I know I lost, but this is just okay. a charity game. All right, all right, all right. Then, all right, I go first this round. Yeah, yeah. We'll do best of three. Okay. Uh, I might just give you. I might give you an easy one. Um. Let's go with North Carolina. Raleigh. Okay. South Carolina. Charleston. I think that checks out. I actually don't know. I think that checks out. Is it checking out? All right. So, it uh, could be Columbia. Ooh. We're too stupid. We are. Dude, we can't so play this game. That we, we can't, can't play. even play we the game. Play. I can't even play the game. That's how stupid we are. Back to abortion. Like how we were just shitting on everyone for not even knowing. To be fair, I said didn't know the states. If you really do not know all of the states, you're retarded. But like the the capitals. The thing that's is, fair. you know which ones I might mess up is Vermont and New Hampshire. I know one dude. I don't know anyone. I've never met one soul from Montpelier. New It's one or the I don't know which Montpelier, one's which. Vermont? No, but I've never met anyone from New Hampshire. I've driven through New Hampshire. It's just like basically a little town with like there's just a little town in the mountains with Yankee candles and then it's like 40 people in Bernie Sounds Sanders. Nice. And which state, which, which is your least favorite state? Texas. Oh, go on. Why? Yeah, it's just a piece of shit. Like, I mean, 
Just because you're such a Let's break it down. I'm not even. I'm not even going to go to the obvious route, which is that they execute retarded people and they're deeply, deeply conservative and kind of racist. Do they still do the electric chair? <laughs> I don't know if they do. I hope they stepped it up. I hope they went the other direction. I hope they're. I hope they're going with some like. 1920s Frankenstein style shit. Oh, they go deeper into pain and torture. Yeah. Cruel and unusual. They get like five horses and they just tie one each. And televise it. Uh, I don't like Texas. It seems like everyone there is kind of an asshole. They're kind of their own thing, which is fine. Like, I get that that's part of the charm. You've been. I've been. Okay. I've spent time in San Antonio, Dallas, uh, Houston. Really, that's it. Is it Little, the people or is it the state? Um, I mean, I'm obviously not going to say all the people suck because obviously everyone knows that there's good and bad in every state. But I mean, it's what you know what it is. It's one of those places that reaffirms every stereotype about it within the first five minutes of being there. Really? The highways, the speed limit is like people are going like 95 and F 350s, and it's like the Texas edition. There's a lot of Texas edition trucks out there. Oh, with like a ba- yeah. and it's just a big. St- fat cock of a truck with like a you know a blue star on it um i mean and then let's also i don't know they definitely have a brand i think they do have a brand and they they always bitch about like wanting to be independent well like go go have an economy of dirt and cows like that's fine you don't really that's That's one thing i do think about it's like joe rogan moves to texas but i'm like dude why would you geographically no income tax and then austin's kind of like a liberal safe haven of sorts but it's just another bullshit city like there's not there's not going to be anything intrinsically valuable about any city in the future like every city what about is here? just being to, every city is just becoming the same thing dude no, so no, like no, 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 austin's no, no. like we're the liberal city in texas but now it's just going to be it's going to be best buy and sweet green and a weed dispensary and protests every four years and then like yeah, but here, I think you look at New York City. No, there's not a met- like a metropolis like New York City, right? It's, no, unless you go to New Hong York Kong. and L.A. are truly different. They're unique in their own sense that like there are no more. They're the most diverse cities in America. Or, I mean, for a reason, New York, Chicago, L.A. They're the three most diverse cities. Austin's not going to be nearly as diverse as a place like this. I think all the other cities are kind of a wash. Well, I think every city's becoming a wash. I think in the middle, yeah, once you hit the middle of America where like geographically, if you got dropped in the city, you'd be like, and no one told you where you were, it'd be hard to distinguish Raleigh from Austin. You would have no idea. Right. You have no idea. The only thing you'd be able to tell is like the neon beer signs in the bars. That's true. If it says Astros on it, you know? I don't, Astros. I just, I mean, that's kind of like a dark view, but like it's, I guess what I'm saying is like rare to find cities that are actually holding on to the shit that makes them cool instead of gentrifying yeah. the fuck out of it. But now there's like kind of interesting theories. I was reading an article this week that someone was basically saying that what's going on now is that like giant tech companies, like the, these industries that kind of define the West Coast, the Pacific Coast, these tech industry jobs, Hollywood, stuff like that. A lot of people are moving, obviously, to there's a there's a migration outwards, right? People are going into smaller smaller cities that have less COVID restrictions, less income tax, all that kind of stuff. But the the result of that is gonna be that like Phoenix is gonna be Seattle soon. You know what I mean? And then, the, like, these cities that are currently defined as, like, the most liberal of liberal, like, the easy targets for people, for, like, Republican conservative dudes in middle America. Seattle, Portland, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Well, all these giant tech sector jobs are leaving and going elsewhere, so what's going to happen in these cities is that it becomes a little bit more working class and evens out a little bit more rent rent is already decreasing in LA. It's going I think down. it's the bait and switch. I wish I'm be. on board for Could it be. because I'm like, it's Could like, be. here we go. We're all moving to Texas. I'm like, good. Go. Motherfucking That's what I'm saying. I'm dude. Like, dude, go. Cause yeah. I, I spent 27 years in Ohio before this. And guess what? I get to go to the beach and go on a hikes and smoke weed. And I don't know. You put it, you put it best to me. Cause I was like, I got in a kick where I'm like, man, where should we? And then I, and then you told me like, Hey man, 
it's everywhere and i'm it's like ev- so if you want to be somewhere what? why not be People in the best this place idea that there's like this fairy tale land where they can they're gonna right. leave and it's COVID. it's not dude it's everywhere you can't go in. i'm like trying to book places to just go hang out this weekend like yeah joshua tree palm springs B- big bear like it's all the same you can't eat inside a restaurant you yeah. can't really go inside of a store that has a ton of people unless it's groceries and then like what i mean the, what what is the escape is what i'm saying like you hear about all these celebrities like leaving la and the bottom line is it's they're rich they'll be back they, when the that, time no, comes they're rich they don't yeah. want to pay taxes we're all poor it's not, we're not getting an insane tax percentage here like right. obviously it's more sales tax here's 10 percent. i'll pay 10 percent sales tax to go to the beach i was paying eight in the middle of the Miami Valley. Right. No, I feel the same way, Fuck dude. Fuck that. Load up my Mr. Pib, dude. I'll pay a dollar. I'll pay two bucks for Mr. Pib here. That's what it is, man. Because I. that's Fuck what it. That's how I feel. Everyone's like, you know, state income tax. I'm like, my buddy. Well, Are this you? guy. Okay, this guy who I work with, we were talking about. We were talking about different places and like, you know, if we were to move somewhere and he was like, yeah, man, this job. Uh, I was looking at this job. He's like in Florida or something like that. He's like talking to a yeah. friend that was in Florida. And I was like, how much would you get paid? And he's like, this amount? I'm like, "Is how much do you make now? And he's like, this amount? I'm like, dude, everyone's like, it's so, I'm like, buddy, you would make less money still. Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. Cause he's like, no state income tax. You're an idiot. Yeah. I'm like, dude, this, it, it like, cause in, dude, I could not make the money I make here in Cincinnati. Dude. No, there's, there's no not way. jobs. No, there's not, not much. Jobs. Like, no, there's not That's opportunity. The whole thing is that, like, obviously, there's a million fucking fat losers out here with a film degree and glasses that could do any job, but like, the ones you can land, the ones you are land gonna pay hit more, dude. And that's the whole thing. You come out here, you take a risk. Am I gonna hit or am I not? You can be a fat loser anywhere, dude, man. Every, like, what I'm saying is, like, every city, has, <laughs> yeah, I can be a fat loser anywhere. I can make stupid movies anywhere. Like, I'm just saying, it. it now we're convincing people to move here. Don't move here. We've, don't move here. The air quality is getting better. Oh, dude, I'm so fucking excited. What? For here in December. I've been talking about this. You're not going home for Christmas? Uh, I don't I'm know. I'm not. Well, my I never have. All I've, fucked I've up. Never I don't have. know. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to go to Ohio. I know that much. I'm either going to have to go to Florida or stay here. It's going to be one of the two. So I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. It's already way less crowded here. Yeah. It's going to be 60 degrees. Air quality is going to be job. I'm going to be hiking every damn day dude yeah i'm so excited dude and you don't go home like you said you you get it for me i go home for tg i'll go home for thanksgiving See, or i'll I go don't... to my brothers or something but for christmas it's just like everyone's like you're gonna go home and then everyone's like we well, do you not love your family i'm like that's for you to decide yeah i'm telling you what yeah, i'll be sounds eating... like you're worried about your own situation <laughs> i'll be watching whatever clint eastwood movie just came out and eating dumplings you're gonna watch by richard myself Jewel, richard jewel too that's why i'm richard's <laughs> did set the bomb and it was at a black lives matter rally <laughs> it's the it's the gritty reboot enough, of richard jewel ball. i'm a police officer like you i i don't believe the black lives matter is a positive movement but it was <laughs> God, that's getting dude clipped. if you if you had you'll saw, never get another job if you had saw richard jewel you would know how fucking good my impersonation of it yeah was. i let you do it i'm, I'm gonna not let the a criminal that's not who i am you got more should we restart these these cameras? Why? There's not way they cut off. I'm not cutting this. I cut this episode, and I'm not gonna. We're still rolling. Cut this part out. I can't. I can't possibly. We're still rolling. Care enough anymore? Um. Yeah. No. But uh. Everyone's. Everyone's staying. I just think it's funny. Everyone now. You need to be above the reactions at this point, man. Oh, like, for sure, dude. You it, people are so they're too reactionary now. Like, listen. And people could say, you know, you're digging your head and you're saying, like, staying in L.A. It's like, everyone's leaving. You're kind of li-. I'm like, dude, the reality is that nobody fucking knows anything, dude. You're taking your best get. Just be in a place where you can try to kind of be happy sometimes. Like, that's the best you're going to get out of this. No one's really happy right now. I can't imagine. I'm turning. You know what? I'm, I've come around and I'm, I'm happy. That's good. Of a cheap happiness, dude. That's good. Let me know how long that lasts. But no, but I did. I did hit. You know what I realized? Remember when I got real depressed? Remember I told you that? Yeah. Like went crazy. Yeah. You know what? You know what I think actually triggered it? Shaving my head 
I now hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. I realized this because I remember I had a moment where I always like kind of my self identity. I identified myself as a handsome person. You know, I looked at myself and I had self confidence. Whether that's true, whether anyone else believe it, I looked at. I had a moment where I looked at myself and I was wearing like basketball shorts. It was just a bad, bad looking day. You know. Yeah, and, I know a lot about that. And I looked in. I, lo- I saw my reflection in the side of a car. And then I was like, oh, that's what I, that's me. And I was about, about to turn. the shaved head thing that really it was the, It was the basketball shorts and the shaved head. It just wasn't Here's flattering. Here's the ultimate move. You have blue, light, San Diego Chargers powder blue basketball shorts wearing a black t-shirt with a shaved head. No, Basically I was shirtless. looking like Dolph Lundgren went to prison. I was shirtless. And I, and I was shirtless, hadn't been lifting, I just looked at myself and I and then I was also turning 31 and that's what set me. It was yeah. just like, oh, I'm a I'm a fat loser. I'm a fuck boy. Yeah, I you don't have to worry about that, bro, because you get to look at me every week. So, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. Well, you're not 31. 31, dude. Who cares? Dude, 31 is You don't have their shit together now until they're 65. So like here, you can fret about it all you want, but here's no one else the thing. Gives a shit. What I had was it was like for the longest time, I had like, oh, uh, you know, I live alone. I have a car. And these were like things I had achieved. And I was like, yeah, I, I can ride stuff. on this. But then I was like, and then I hit 31. And I'm like, oh, I should probably have some more stuff to be proud of by now. I should probably have land. <laughs> yeah, I should dude. probably have equity in something. I should probably have money growing somewhere. Right. I should be like taking care of my future. But then you know what actually kind of get, you know, what calms me down. What's that? This is what calms me down sometimes. I'm like, holy, I'm like, I need money for the future. Like, eventually, I'm not going to be able to work anymore. And then I remember, oh, my parent, but my parents will die and they will give me their money. I've never had that thought. So that is good. I'm, a, I'm hoping there's a lot of money. I'm hoping there's a lot of money because part of, I'm sure they thought the same thing about their parents. You what know? do you think they're doing? You think they're gambling at casinos while you're not paying attention no they're like good christian people man i think they're gonna leave me a fat wad dude that could be cool don't you have siblings though and they're gonna leave well that nest eggs can get split up bro there's probably two fat wads enough to go around i'm hoping it's some i'm hoping it's just i'm not even i'm because i don't plan on having children so the fat here's the thing because the fat wad grows right it's like my grandpa my parents to me no children for me. Yeah. So the buck stops. Yeah, it stops at a PlayStation 5. I'm spending all of That's it, dude. That's the inheritance buck stops. Your great-grandfather dude, came to this country and started a goddamn, you know, dude, I'm silver hoping, mining facility yes. in Indiana. And it, built in a mass fort. Your grandpa was basically Daniel Day-Lewis and there will be blood. He came here and massed this massive fortune. I hate it from your family secretly. And it ends with me buying a Dave & Buster franchise. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> Bro, and can I have... Can you make me a promise? Because I'm never going to get my shit together. So when you do have this You're trying to get wad, in on my wad, I would just like be like a general manager, general manager of my wad. Yeah, that's the best thing I can do. I'll just die a fat pig being the general manager of a Debbie Buster's like just. Oh, you want to be a GM? Exist. Oh, you yeah. Be the, oh, no, for I can't sure, own it. Man. I can't. I don't have anything to put in. Yeah, like absolutely, man. But dude, I, I think I would be a good GM. Like I'm good with people if I have to be. Oh, you buddy, know? you're I, hired. I appreciate that, dude. You got they, it, see, man. now that's me figuring out my future. You're like, I need to get stocks and own land. I'm like, I just need health insurance for when this heart attack hits. Yeah. If I ha- here's, can I promise you this? If I, when I do have my heart attack that kills me, it will most certainly be at the Dave and Buster's that I'm general manager of. Yeah. I need you to know that. I'll provide you health insurance, man. It does. You don't have to. It doesn't matter. You here's the thing. <laughs> I love that you when gave you, me this hypothetical situation. You had a moment where you're like, "Oh, thanks, man." I know. Well, I just you know <laughs> I need something to look forward to, and dying at a Dave and Buster's in my 60s of cardiac arrest is something that you know I can check on. Dude, if I can die next to the Deal or No Deal machine and it's still going off, you know what's funny? My dad has a Deal or No Deal machine. Dude, he has like two. Gonna, he has like two of them. You know, he would actually be so, so fucking dumb, dude. I hate going to arcade. People play the deal or no deal game. Like, what is this for? Here's the thing, man. As a guy that worked in an arcade with a deal or no deal machine. So did I. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, Hit here's my it. here's my take. It was right by the counter, so it's kind of like where I would be. It's always by the counter. It's by the counter, and dude, just always drew a crowd. Always drew a crowd. That's a good point. It's exciting. It's a fun thing. It's simple. People. People don't like complicated stuff. No, they really don't. They just want to go there and play, you know, Guitar Hero. No, that's kind of a more new age arcade thing. Not new age, but like, it's not like people will watch people play. Oh, they'll watch, but I'm saying top five, top five. Hit me with the top five arcade games across America. You go into arcade, what are the top five games you're going to have? Tekken. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna speak here. I'm gonna give the square states. I'm gonna give the red states a little. I have a something. couple. I have a couple. Uh, the 18 wheeler big trucker game. Okay. You're always gonna be hitting with that at a fun. Yeah, and you also know I am the judge, jury, and executioner on this because I'm the expert. I listen. Yeah, I too I, worked I was, in an arcade for five years, buddy. I I know I was, that you're that own boy, but you can't pull rank on that because you didn't know in the arcade, buddy. You went to conventions. I get that. Go on. Am I wrong so far at Tekken and big 18 wheeler, big ball trucker? It's not as popular as you think it is. I've never been to an arcade that didn't have that. Keep going. But I'll keep going. Time crisis. Yep. Okay. There's a big one Time you're crisis. missing. Uh, and by the way, we're actually going with franchises. I. This is the biggest I see, arcade I'm split game. between Hydro Thunder and Fast and the Furious right now. I feel like Hydro Thunder was more common, and Hydro Thunder fucking ruled. Hydro Thunder counts. There's one you're still missing, though. What, big, a big daddy? This is the biggest daddy. This is the zaddy of all arcade games, and if you don't have it in your arcade... Area 51? No. Oh, it's a good game. Come on. Area 51's a fucking hitter. How old are we going, though? Like, we're talking... I'm talking 90s, 2000s arcades. Are you going to hit me with, like, Pac-Man or something? Like, I'm not. Okay, cool. We're, I we're, make in, sure the we're in the same realm. We're in the same realm? This okay, arcade that you're describing? Yes. This is Zach's I hope arcade. this is fun for someone to listen to. 30 people are going to listen to this. Okay. Again, like I said, browsing 4chan. So, uh, I'm going to go with... I think Japanese. Haven't they all been Japanese so far? Yeah. No American. The only video game made in America for an arcade is that stupid. Go- oh, dude, it's the golf game. Is it the Golden uh, Tea? Is it Golden Tea? It's no, Golden a- Tea's more of a bar pub game. It's a little more. Yeah. It's more of a bar pub game. Good guess, though. Fuck this is dude. so. It's very it's gonna big. Hit me. It's, it's gonna very hit me. chunky. It's a big game and it involves a lot oh, of movement. It's gonna be Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, it's the game, dude. I feel like that actually wasn't this common. It's everywhere. I guess it is. Just it took, is. Takes up a lot of foot space. It does. Up a lot of square footage. It, but definitely worth it. When you run an arcade. Definitely worth it. Definitely People worth pump it. Pump quarters into that, dude. When I used to work at. Uh, <laughs> That's so funny. You mentioned pump. Dude. Poor man's Dance Dance Revolution. Yeah, you gotta. <laughs> Dude, when I, I when I worked at Arcade, there was this guy who would come and play DDR every fucking Friday. And How much would, pussy did he get? Dude, no. Oh. No. <laughs> All of the underage pussy that was at this arcade, this dude had. No, this dude was a creepy weirdo. You should he get a, a pass no, he, for statute. I'm done. Go on. You're saying you should get a pass for statutory rape if you were a DDR champion? I agree. <laughs> um, <laughs> you said it. If you have number one on a DDR machine, yeah, that's called, you know, it's double jeopardy. But this guy would come in every week, and his name was Dennis, and he would come in, and he'd fucking, he would rip it up. He'd rip it up. And he'd just do it. He would get, but here's the thing. Our guy's name was Steve. so sweat. Oh, Steve, no. Yeah. Steve's the guy who does maintenance on the game. I'm telling you, this man's name was Steve, and he he was the guy. He would grab the bar of Dance Dance Revolution. My brother would you do this too. The bar. They were guys that had you had no rhythm, so you weren't actually dancing. You grab the bar, and then you just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like, the whole thing is but, because the music actually wasn't really in them. You know no, the I mean? rhythm wasn't there. It was no, just they were like just basically autistic. So yeah. they knew how to like follow lights and yeah, patterns. That's what it was. So they would just sit there and hold the rail and just like fucking <laughs> Irish tap dance on this thing, <laughs> waiting to get pussy that's never gonna walk through the door, pumping quarters into this, go home and jerk off to some fucking hentai or something. <laughs> yeah, dude, we know who was the DDR champion. Yeah. We know his name was Dennis in my case, but dude, this dude, he would also do these magic tricks and he would also 
this dude, listen how lame this kid was. He was a nice guy. He was actually, he was a cool dude. We would talk to him, but like, listen, this guy probably got his ass kicked on a regular basis. I'm sure. He would crush a DDR machine. He would do magic tricks for people, like basic card tricks, yeah. stuff like that. And he would do pen tricks. So he'd put like a pen in his hand and he would I know. be like flipping it around. And one time I was like, hey, bro, how do you learn those pen tricks? He's like, oh, you got to go to this website. It's called pentricks.org. And I go. Oh, it's an it's, org. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that worked. I'm just gonna assume it was an org for the sake of this story. I go to pentrix.org and it's straight up just literally. It looked like the Heaven's Gate cult website. If you've ever been to that, it's kind of infamously known for how bad just and bad outdated HTML. It is. It's just bad HTML, dude. Bad CSS. A lot of purple. A lot of purple and neon looking. A lot of marquee flashing tags. Marquees that were lime green in Comic Sans. <laughs> That would li- flash lime green and red back and forth in square. Yeah, we know what they do. Those God, guys. Wasn't the internet so much more fun, dude? We have so we're so lucky that we got to see like the actual start of the internet. The, the, you're right. Select group, you're right. Very, Geo say what you will, dude. Or, tab, yeah, tab, tab crawler, Geo cities. Yeah. Uh, what was the other one? The uh, Zanga. Or was it Zanga? Yeah, Zanga was that was a thing. I don't know if it's it was like a blog, live journal. When you start getting, it. here's the thing: you make a stupid little geo. I want to go back to Dennis, by the way. But anyway, yeah, go on, no, go on. we can go back to Dennis. He would just do these pen tricks, and he would the, the girls would watch. The, the, here's the thing: the girls would always watch his card tricks. Girls would come up and see. I'm it, saying they de- he deserved they pussy, be, dude. He does. He was trying, dude. That's why that. That's why those guys kill themselves. Is because they work so hard to get pussy, and they deserve and it. Some guy named Alex yeah. walks in with a big ass dick, in some like gray jogging shorts, varsity jacket, wearing a, wearing a Philip Rivers powder blue jersey. He lives in Duluth. He's gonna slam all those chicks, and yeah. Dennis is just sitting there, flicking the pen around. Doing something actually Literally impressive. Literally only doing it be- so he is not jerking off in the arcade. That is why he started doing the pen tricks. It's like someone trying to quit smoking. Dude, it's trap. Mine, this guy, his name was uh, Kent Brown. I'm going to say his last name. Kent. Is Kent there Brown. anyone under the age of 42 that's not named Kent? Kent at one time was 18. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, no, he was Kenny. But he wore. No, he's Kent. Kent Brown. Go on. Kent. <laughs> and he oh man actually i could get into some funny stuff with him but he was do it, do it. it was the thing you know how i think in high school you know how like everyone's just trying to be cool right everyone wants to be cool they want to be a cool it's guy hard, man it's hard but like ken didn't Unless care at it. he was he was the kid he was the boy with the dragon t-shirt okay do I need to say any more to describe him you do, you do. he was the boy were, is this a play on the girl with the dragon tattoo Cause I never saw that movie, dude. And I didn't read the book because I got pussy. You, you, <laughs> you understand the bit though. This guy, he had a button-up shirt that was way oversized. Okay, Maybe it I'm started here. red. I'm here. It's faded black. into it's blue. Black with like a red micro thread going down. A little yeah, bit. and there's dragons on the back. It's a button-up. It's short sleeve. He's got Arizona it's jeans. It's a bowling shirt. Yes. And he has like a yeah. chain necklace of like little ball chain necklace, right? Yeah. It's like it's for those guys that don't know they're into BDSM yet. Yeah, they okay. have their, but well, like you're also describing basically the Columbine shooters too. So that's like, what that's that's exactly. But yeah, Dylan. <laughs> well, the thing this was you're describing Dylan Roof essentially. The cool kids. It was funny because like the cool kids would like bully Kent, but he was resilient. He didn't really care. Yeah. But when I look back on it, him. dude. I, the thing was, he never broke, so he never got to the point where he was going to get him, right? He never broke. He stayed That's positive, good. and it was always funny to me because, like, the cool kids were always, like, low-key miserable, but Kent, he was the only one that truly had self-confidence. Because he had hope that one day he was going to get him. You think so? Yeah. He, he had to show everybody. He had sincere positivity. He also did. He also hooked up with a chick, though. She wasn't cute, but he hooked up with a chick. Ooh. He he actually, because like I went to a Christian school and nobody was fucking, but Kent, he hooked up with a chick that was kind of young and Ooh, kind of Kent. potentially, yeah, potentially, a- potentially was, had learning disabilities. Nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. No, it's funny the dicey situations mm. that Dennis's and Kent's get themselves into. 
Kent was the type of guy who at lunch would have a knife and be like doing the stabbing thing. Remember when you could bring a knife to school? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> dude. He had a knife Remember and he would stab himself. You could bring a, gu- a knife to school. Not a gun. You know, that would never really fly. But He was the guy that had like a switchblade and he'd be doing tricks with. Cool little switchblade. Dude. He bought from a kid. Stabbed himself in the leg. <laughs> dude like no 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 i love like Ken. for real like Ken, to the hospital. Ken and i were friends yeah dude he yeah. like went deep into like the muscle then he goes tissue the pussy route and says he's like i want to hurt myself because i'm sad and we're like no you just fucked up dude you he you wouldn't go that way. route he would he be like he'd, he he'd be the like it. he'd be like yeah i'm a badass dude that does cool stuff and this is what happens to cool dudes that stab themselves that's the way it is Listen, that's the life girls, of a cool dude you guys know if you want to be a dangerous guy you got to play a dangerous game bro See, that's what I hate. God damn it. I shouldn't. I love I can't was if I show that camera shot. It'll be a miracle. I'm just saying Ken had confidence. Ken had confidence and in that's all. Okay. My moral of the story is the cool kids in high school sucked. Okay. Because Ken was older than me. He was two grades older than me. The kids that were cool. Why did he suck though? You said he was cool. He was, uh, this dude was out there getting pussy, playing, and winning games. He this was. This dude definitely had a Rubik's cube too. For sure. Yeah, yeah. he could solve a Rubik's cube. Right? Dude, everything you're describing was Ken. Ken, what? But dude, Ken, Ken was like, if He's if like you were Rick from DeGrassi, who ended up shooting Drake in that show. Yes. It's all the same. Rick, Dennis, Kent. You know who I'm talking about. If you were to ask the teachers, though, at my high school, they're like, who is Kent? They would say, they would reluctantly say, he was on the news tonight. No. They would say, (laughs) Kent's a loser. But I'm going to tell you what, though. But Kent, all those other kids, all those, uh, all the other cool kids, dude, fuck them. They never talked to us. They were never cool. Kent was always a partner at SpaceX right now. I no, he's not. he's not. No, he's I not. I think he works he, at the YMCA. He's, but yeah, he manages the Spencer Gifts. Yeah, he does. He's hit but hard by COVID. I'm sure he's happy, though. There's no guy named Ken who has not been hit hard by COVID, bro. I'll check in There's on Ken. not Kent. one Ken. I'll you check should. in. He you would should check in on the him. The thing is, if Kent saw me, if I was in my hometown and Kent saw me, he'd come up and talk to me and we'd have a great conversation. Oh, for sure. He's like, he's yeah. a guy if that... If I saw Dennis, I would... I would if we could like put it together in our minds, this like shared history that we kind of have, yeah. Even though it's been so long and disconnected, it would really, it would actually be a tender moment um, between two men. If we introduce Kent and Dennis, I think we all four should hang out, bro. I don't know. I'm, I'm good with Kent for like two hours. Then I'm like, all right, oh, man. two hours. Oh, yeah, man. No. Yeah, all of a sudden he's like, so do you? Are you into Twitch? And you're like, oh. God yeah, it would dude. go in a direction. I like him, but like, give it. I give it Do two hours. Joe Rogan, like, oh, no, Ken, yeah, I don't know. I don't no, know. You what think Ken doesn't listen to Rogan? No, he would. No, 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 no. Ken he would be like David Blaine's. He'd be like, I know you don't like anime, but you gotta check out this anime. I'd be like, dude, dude you gotta check out. It's I don't, called Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> I <laughs> feel no type of way about anime. I think it's famous, Kent. I like that you like it. I don't think you're. A dwarf. I'm at ha- Kent. I'm happy that you're happy, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't we just be happy that you're happy and not dead like we all thought you would be? Yeah. Be happy, Kent. You run a GameStop. You're not the... You manage a GameStop. He's content. Kent, he was, he was an endless fountain of contentment. Yeah, sometimes there was... A, I used to work with a guy named Kenny at Radio Shack who's just so... Po- like, the, one of those guys that's so positive that makes you... It makes you feel like a piece of shit because you can't be happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it really puts into respect. You're like, I'm just... I'm miserable. Like you meet those people. I met this dude Kenny, and he. I worked with him in Radio Shack. Just a cool ass dude, cool black dude. And he like he was one of those black dudes who was like, you thought he was 24, and then one day you find out he's like 43. Mm-hmm. That Blacks was don't Kenny. crack. He did not, dude. So I'd be hanging out with this guy at Radio Shack, and he was always so positive. Loved wrestling. Not super into anime. If he was, he didn't talk about it a lot, which was good on him. Made him cooler. Self-aware. No one wants to hear about anime. Loved sports. Would like knew everything about sports. Knew everything about like the Reds and all that stuff. Just a cool dude. But he was just a guy who kind of lived alone with his mom and his dad. To be fair, he lived with his parents still. He was like in his forties, but he was just he was like yeah. I'm cool. He's like I just like watch wrestling. I hang out here. My parents are cool. They kind of need my help a little bit. I'm like. Mm-hmm. And I, 
Here's the thing, dude. It's like, it's so, you know what it was, man? In that moment when I met, Kenny was the guy I met that like when you grow up and everyone makes fun of people who still live with their, live with their parents, I met Kenny and I'm like, oh, fuck those people. Because yeah. this dude rules and he's just, people are just living their life and you shouldn't judge him. Even though this entire podcast is us judging people, I'm saying don't judge Kenny. Kenny was cool. Yeah. No, I agree. I think don't, some people you got to find whatever works for you. And I think you gave me this advice. Sometimes you just don't want to complicate your life. <clears throat> yeah. No, no. Sometimes listen, that's why that movie I'm thinking of anything slap dude. Cause that janitor didn't want to complicate his life. That's the dark side. dude. Mm -hmm. What happened to him? He turned into a cartoon pig. I don't know. <laughs> if you haven't watched our God damn thinking was that of movie. ending things, that movie is wild. I can't stop thinking about that movie. We have a review of it, so watch yeah, it. Yeah, watch if it. You don't know the what the hell we're talking about. It. Yeah, God, dude, that movie really did. I I think about that movie often. There's like once mm -hmm. a day that movie will enter my mind for about five to ten seconds. Which part? Like all of the parts. Now it's one of those movies. Once you watch it, then like every you start thinking about all like the individual parts. We should talk about it. No, we're not. We All did right. that once. You know what he cares about that. All right. Well, this has been. We done? Are we done? I think we got a. We got a sewed. Let's wrap it. Yeah, it's a shorty. Here. We're going out of town, possibly. Much so love. We appreciate this is going to go up if it's not relevant. Share it with your friends. If you made it all the way to the end, demote the cops who killed Brianna Taylor. <laughs> we need some kind Too of justice. Too soon. <laughs>